Success, power and wealth are often the hallmarks of achievement in today's world. But sometimes the most inspiring stories come from those who value hard work and perseverance above all else. One such story is that of a Dutch family man who has set the foundation in the 1980s for one of the Netherlands' largest supermarket chains. While the company is still growing till this day, just recently the CEO, Fritz van Eert, has ended up in serious trouble. In 2022, he became a suspect in a large money laundering case. How could this happen to the CEO of the second largest supermarket chain in the Netherlands? Let's dive into the story of Jumbo. In the small town of Vejel, Netherlands, a young man named Karel van Eert took over his father's wholesale business in 1957. At just 20 years old, Karel was tasked with the daunting responsibility of managing the family business. Carol saw potential in his family's business and aimed to expand it beyond Brabant. He acquired three wholesalers in Limburg, and the company's annual turnover grew from 18 to 24 million guilders rapidly. In the late 1970s, Carol acquired A and O, a company that owned wholesalers and supermarkets in West Brabant and Zeeland, and manages to expand the company even further. Although Carol van Eert eventually became the mastermind behind Jumbo, the first Jumbo supermarket was actually opened in Tilburg in 1979 by someone else. It was a couple named Jan and Anita Merz who took the leap and opened their supermarket on the Laudersplein in Tilburg. The Merz were determined to create a name and logo that was more powerful than that of their competitor, Toro, which had a bull as its logo. And that's how the iconic elephant Jumbo was born. With its big size and distinctive features, the Jumbo logo was an instant hit. Four years later, Carol van Eert took over the Tilburg supermarket and quickly expanded Jumbo stores throughout the Netherlands. With affordable prices and a diverse product selection, Jumbo became a household name. Under van Eert's leadership, Jumbo continued to grow through strategic acquisitions and innovative ideas. It all started with a desire to create a powerful brand that stood out, and Jumbo achieved exactly that. Meanwhile, Carol van Eert and his wife had two daughters and one son. Initially, the third generation of the van Eert family didn't plan to join the family business. Daughters Colette and Monique worked in other companies and did not want to be the daughter of the boss. Eventually, once son Fritz started working at Jumbo in 1993, the daughters joined as well and became product managers. Until in 1996, the siblings collaborated with their parents to develop a new retail formula for the company. A few years earlier, while studying in Florida, Fritz went shopping at a supermarket called Publix. Compared to the grocery stores in the Netherlands, it was much bigger, brighter and more comfortable. It was such a difference with the local supermarkets in the Netherlands that Fritz wanted to bring that same feeling back to the Netherlands. So he came up with a new concept called the Seven Certainties, which focused on putting the customer first instead of just selling products. His father was excited about the idea and supported him. They opened the first Jumbo store with his new concept in 1996, and it was a big success. From then on, the Jumbo supermarket chain grew quickly. In 2002, Fritz van Eert becomes the CEO of Jumbo and is able to rapidly grow into one of the biggest supermarket groups in the Netherlands. His idea of focusing on the customer catches on in the south of the country, but he struggles to expand to the Randstad. In 2005, Jumbo takes over 12 branches from the struggling Lauros and the two other supermarket chains in the following years. This makes Jumbo the second largest supermarket group in the Netherlands after Albert Heijn. Meanwhile, Jumbo is expanding by creating new ideas like the Jumbo Food Market, where customers can buy freshly made products. They took over La Place in 2016 to continue growing. As a result, Albert Hain is starting to feel competition from Jumbo, not in terms of market share, but in terms of customer satisfaction. This is causing a rivalry between the two supermarkets. Jumbo and Albert Hain, two big supermarket companies, are now fighting for customers in Belgium. Jumbo is opening its first store in Pelt, Belgium, next to an Albert Hain store. There are already many other supermarkets in Belgium, so Jumbo and Albert Hain have to work hard to attract customers by offering low prices. Jumbo plans to open dozens of stores in Belgium in the next few years, with a goal of having 100 stores in the country. Jumbo follows rival Albert Heijn's path by partnering with Dutch retail chain Hemmer. After Hemmer's partnership with Albert Heijn ended abruptly after nine months, Jumbo became new partner. 
It offered Hema items in its stores and has acquired 17 urban stores from Hema as part of the partnership. Yumbo's move to acquire Hema's urban stores is a significant step for the company as it's aimed to expand its presence in inner cities. The supermarket chain plans to use its Yumbo City formula, which combines elements of Yumbo supermarkets, the Yumbo food market, and the Laplace restaurant chain to win over more customers in these areas. Yumbo is opening stores at train stations, similar to Albert Haynes' Aha To Go stores. However, despite Yumbo's efforts, Aha To Go remains the more popular choice among commuters, according to a study by Multiscope. It's clear that the competition between Yumbo and Albert Hain is fierce, with both companies vying for supermarket share and customer loyalty. Yumbo's decision to copy Albert Hain's strategy of having city and station shops is just one example of this. However, it remains to be seen which supermarket chain will ultimately come out on top. Despite Fritz's success in steadily increasing the market share with all these acquisitions, he always wanted to be a professional racing driver. He still races today and even became the Dutch rally champion in 2006. With his affinity for racing, Jumbo became a sponsor of F1 driver Max Verstappen for many years. However, his ambition for this hobby outside the Jumbo supermarket chain might have caused his downfall. In 2022, Fritz was suspected of being involved in a money laundering case. The FIOD tax investigation service raided his home and found a large amount of cash. The CEO was one of nine suspects in an investigation into money laundering through real estate, car dealing, unexplained cash deposits, and sponsorship contracts in motocross sports. Due to the ongoing investigation, Fritz temporarily stepped down as the CEO of Yumbo. He was jailed for six days before he was eventually released. Why Fritz had all this money at home is still unclear, his lawyer and the prosecution did not want to provide an explanation. The main suspect in this case is Theo E. He is a former motocross rider and was the manager of Yumbo's motorsports team for a few years. He has been convicted several times for money laundering. He is also known to have supplied cars to the Amsterdam underworld. It is said that Fritz personally conducted business with Theo, even after Yumbo refused to transfer sponsorship money to Theo's motocross team when it emerged that he was a suspect in a money laundering case. Fritz and Theo arranged many sponsorship contracts in auto and motorsport together, which are also included in the investigation. As this is still an ongoing investigation, it is not sure if Fritz was willingly joining the illegal activities. What is known is that there was a significant risk that Yumbo was used to launder money through motorsport and racing. Even though the story of Yumbo ends with money laundering and the stepping down of CEO Fritz van Aert, Yumbo is definitely still going strong under a new CEO. The story of Yumbo reminds us that even the biggest successes start with small ideas. Despite having to compete with an established competitor as Albert Hain, the company made it through. It showed that providing a unique shopping experience based on building a loyal customer base is a formula for success. Thanks for watching the inspiring story of Yumbo, one of the largest supermarkets in the world, and its founder, Carol van Aert, who built a successful empire while prioritizing his family. What do you think of Yumbo's story? Do you think Fritz jeopardized the future of Yumbo? Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring stories. Who knows? Maybe you'll be the next to build a successful empire. We'll see you in the next video.